Hello everyone, and welcome to my next video for the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. And in this video I'm going to be doing some pulls for Freya's EX weapon, which is here with the release of Prompto's Lost Chapter, because let's face it, even though it's Prompto's banner, Freya is really the star on it as far as I'm concerned, and I think she's even the better character in general. So Freya is one of those characters that when she originally released, she released in the Cosmos era and she only had a 15 CP and a 35 CP, but despite that fact, she was just as powerful, if not even stronger than characters that had EXs, because her skill 2 Dragon's Breath was so ridiculous that in the rework that she's received, the only thing that's changed about it is that she gets some extra duration on the frame buff and it got a bit stronger. The overflow is actually the same, the splash damage is the same, it, it can compete with like current era standards, which is crazy if you think about it. And I remember having the thought back then that if Freya released with an EX weapon back in Cosmos, then she would actually be broken. Um, and I, I still genuinely think that is the case. Now, the Jack banner was the first in a long series of banners that I am extremely interested in for the next two months, and as you can see, I have a decent amount of resources saved up. Um, on the Jack banner I did actually have maximum tickets, but I had to throw some at them for Jack, and also I kind of went for Waka as well, which has uh, yeah, drained my... Uh, my resources a little bit but this is only the beginning so I'm kind of a little bit nervous about how this go this is gonna go um, because exactly how well my pulls for Freya go determines just how many more characters it is that I'm going to pull for because I have a lot of them I have a lot that I want I want Fujin I want Arciella obviously she's non-negotiable um, I, you know, I want Kais, I want possibly Alfino, so Freya's pretty much going to determine whether I pull for Alfino or not, um, and, and, you know, it continues. There's, there's a lot of really strong banners coming out, and although Freya is very, very good, she is probably not one of the top priorities for people who are going to be chasing on meta characters, but because Freya is from Final Fantasy IX and I do have a soft spot for the uh, the old Dragoon, I am absolutely going all in here and I am going to be trying to get her EX because, yeah, I, I always enjoy it. Like when my, I'm not going to use a character solely for the sake of having favorites, but when my favorites happen to be strong, you better be damn well sure I'm going to prioritize them over, um, you know, over regular characters most of the time. And I've been wanting to play with Freya for a while because she gets bonus overflow and she does a lot of damage herself and she brings strong auras to the team without actually using up any buff slots. So if nothing else, she'll, you know, she'll absolutely make a good filling for Dimensions End. Um... In fact, and in fact, just listening to this music in the background makes me think about, um, you remember Sir Fratley from FF9? Anyone who's played 9 out there? Um, I really want to see Fratley in Opera Omnia. I think that would be really interesting. I, I don't care if it's the Fratley from before he forgot his memories, or I don't care if it's the one from the end of the game, um, but I just think his moveset could be, you know, there could be a lot of potential there. In fact, I think there are a lot of characters in FF9 that you don't necessarily... Um, that you don't play as and that are not Beatrix that could also be interesting because let's say we have Lani for example I know Amaranth's been data mined to exist in the JP data so he's definitely going to be coming along at some point but I'd be quite interested to see what they do with Lani um, I can't really think of many others off the top of my head um, but what about Mikoto for example um, I think she should be I don't know what the hell they would make her. Um, I don't even know if she should be a combatant, but I mean, it's a possibility, right? You know, these uh, these gacha games exist to make the impossible possible when it comes to uh, to fan service. Um, but anyway, it's about high time that we uh, that we get into this banner. I have 676 tickets left, and we're well. We'll see how many I have left at the end of this. I'm I'm teetering on the edge of a precarious balance. I could either end up luck sacking it or I could end up down and out, which is going to extremely, extremely suck. But there's only one way to find out, so let's get going. Ah, uh, I remember doing pulls for Abana back when she released in the Cosmos era, with her 35 CP only. Um, it was the Final Fantasy IX banner, and I, it, it had uh, Zidane and uh, Vivi on it, I believe Vivi ZX was there. Um, in fact, I think it was one of the first double EX banners that had both Zidane and VVZXs, and I was like, 
I'm really pulling, I really pulled there for VVZX, but I thought if I could get a Freya 35 along the way, it would save me from having to use power tokens. And I MLB'd everything else on the banner, but I still had to token for Freya 35, and I didn't get any EXs, so rip. Let's hope uh, it goes a little bit better this time around. Ooh, six six six. I'd have laughed if the X would have uh, would have dropped there. Okay, random uh, prompt to fifteen. So I have played some of Final Fantasy XV. Um, I found it a little bit difficult to get into after the novelty of the open world kind of faded off. So I'm not that massively attached to Prompto, but I do kind of like the guy. So if I get his EX, I won't. Be Whoa! Shit! How many 15s do you want, my dude? Oh my! What? Oh, <laughs> of course, of course the gold orb is an off banner. God, I can't wait until they change that for global. So, like, golds actually mean something when you're pulling because that is... What the fuck? How many golds in a row is this? What, what, what's... What's next? Is this going to be an... Oh my god. I think my... I think my banner's broken, guys. I think it only knows how to give me golds. What the... Fuck. Wow, I don't think I've ever had that many golds in a back-to-back, -back. like, ever. Since I, in the in the history of, of my pulls, like, ever. I'm a little bit speechless. Okay, wow, I'm getting scared there for a second. This is, this is something else. This is, yeah, this is really something else. If nothing else, it's, it saves on power stones, what the hell? Um, so, before that craziness happened, um, as I was saying, I, I really wouldn't mind if I ended up getting prompted as the X, because I do have a little bit of attachment to him, but again, I'm probably not going to be building him up past 0 out of 3, even if I do, just because of his issues in this game, and because he's not that much of a favourite like Freya is. So, you yeah, know, that is that. I mean, I call her Freya. I think in Japanese it's actually Freya. I don't know how the Norse name uh, for the uh, for the god Freya actually goes, but they definitely spell it Freya in FF9 because you would expect it to be E I otherwise. Don't you wish there was a way to like do a multiple with tickets? Like this game is extremely generous with the amount of like single tickets that it gives you, but the only trade-off for that is having to click through them one by one. It's like, well here's all the resources you could possibly have if your sanity can hold out that long. But it's definitely a worthy trade-off in my opinion. If all, I have to, if all I have to do is to sit here and spam clicks, then I'll gladly take it. Oh, could this be something? Come on! Okay, well, it, I mean, it, it was it was something. It was something that I don't need. Um, I've already got King MLB, as you know, and don't you think that gun looks absolutely ridiculous? Why the hell is the barrel this long? Like, is is it a gun? Is it a rifle? Like, is it a pistol? I mean, just just why? What? Why? What's the what's the design behind that? Hmm, that reminds me. I think Saz's uh, Saz's silver weapon is the only silver weapon in the game that I still don't have MLB yet. So obviously, I'll be going in with pulls for him next month. Um, I'm absolutely going to be purpling Saz because it's the return of God Emperor Saz. How could I not want to pull for the guy? And besides, he's actually ridiculous. So I'm definitely going in uh, for that. But I guess that will be that will be the time when the uh, the time of prophecy is come and I finally complete 
the last goddamn silver weapon I've got outstanding. What 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 is with all these goals? I mean I'm what I'm don't get me wrong, I'm What the fuck? Random twins? Fifteen? Hello? What? Have you seen this? What's going on? Oh my god! I <laughs> Uh, I, I, uh, my brain's melting. I think I've got the Midas touch. But it's a little bit faulty because it's only giving me 15s. <laughs> Couldn't it be like, imagine if those were like EXs raining from the sky. Fucking hell, we're getting close though. That's the 35. Holy shit, dude. Come on. Can we get, can we get an EX before we hit 600? If, what should be prompt us? I'll, I'll laugh if that happens. I know, I know. I should be I should technically be saving my resources because the Eldian burst era is so close, but at the same time, like all of these guys are just they're either extremely fun or they're favourites or both. So I yeah, I just kinda want to spend. <laughs> Besides, we've got another summon bot coming up. Like I think it's Noctis's LD and Burst will release along with Ultima Odin. Um, and I'm not really interested in Squall. I mean that's a lie. I am interested in Squall because I like him in FF8, but I'm not really that fussed on his weapons. Because um well, he's just extremely plain. He like suffers from the Sephiroth curse. He doesn't do anything special on top of like pure damage. And even his damage isn't that amazing. Like there's plenty of characters without an LD that are still better than him at that point. Come on. Gold bears. Okay. Well then. I mean, it's great for my power stone stash. Don't get me wrong. Oh my god, it's... Uh, 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 wow. Again? Come on. And I, it's a... It's a Faris 15. Okay. Wow. I'm... Yeah. My uh, my Midas switch... My Midas touch is faulty. I don't know if like Josh has flipped the switch. Um, but he's, he's flipped the wrong switch. So I'm just getting 15s. Well, I mean that was that was certainly a thing that happened. I'm watching the loading on the bomb, you know. I'm 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 hoping something new. I haven't looked at the banner yet, and I I haven't looked at anyone else's weapons. So if it kind of jerks around, it's not foolproof, but it might suggest something. You can kind of tell when an EX loads in because it takes a little bit longer than everything else. spent a good number of tickets already and we've got a good number of golds. In fact, the, the gold ratio is, is absurd right now, I think, but um, still no sign of that EX. It might be this music, it might be cursed. I have no idea why on the OST, Bermesia's theme is actually listed as Freya's theme. Like, that just seems to be how it goes. Uh, last time I pulled, I didn't end up getting her EX either. I got a lot of golds, but uh, I mean, of course, her EX wasn't released then. I mean, I didn't get her 35, I got everything else. We're closing in on the 100 ticket mark pretty soon, if we're not there already. Kind of forgotten to be honest, it was somewhere around the low 570s. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're at 100-ish. Oh boy.
I just hope it's not going to be one of those banners. It could so easily be. I've been reading some right horror stories lately. It's probably not this one. No, of course it's not. <laughs> Jabated. I like how you can actually see the materia slots on the uh, on the shuriken, though. Like, I think you get that effect with Cloud's World of Illusions weapon as well. Like, his, his alternate 15. You can see the materia that's, like, in the slot. It's pretty cool. I mean, isn't Yuffie's shuriken, like, ridiculously oversized? Like, I mean, what can you even use that for anymore except, like, as a... to slice people with? Like, it's, it's huge. How are, you, how are you about to throw that and call it a shuriken when it's, like, literally as, as big as you are? That's ridiculous. Alright, alright. King 15. Okay, I don't think this is an EX, but who knows, honestly. Okay, it's not, it's just a 35. It's prompt us 35, I'll lock it. I mean, actually, I think I've got one of these already, but I'll lock it anyway. Come on. Don't make me get into the gems. That would be awful. I saved up all these tickets for a reason, goddammit. And that reason was not to sit here spamming click. Having having everyone watch on from the sidelines with that sort of malicious schadenfreude as they watch my ticket count slowly dwindle into nothingness. Sacrifice to the void. That is one future I would prefer to avoid. Getting close, we're just not quite there. We're just not there. I'm getting plenty of silvers though. Like we how many chances have we had? Like, how many chances for any exit have we had at this point? That's that's a lot of goals. I mean, I don't mind it. Like, I'll seriously just keep on pulling, but Jesus. I want some tickets for Arciella. I don't want to have to use gems on Arciella. Because then there's Fujin, and there's Kais, and, and possibly Alphino. That's, that's a lot of banners. And then we've got Old Nash. and Saz himself. And Aphmau. If you think I'm skipping on Aphmau, you're crazy. There's so many good characters, like in this next two months. Like, I don't actually, thinking about it, I don't actually care if I complete the Squall event synergy challenge or not. Like, it's one burst token. Like, in the grand scheme of things, what's that gonna be? You know, like, I'm not interested in Squall. I'm not interested in Auron. I am definitely not interested in Keshi. Um, unfortunately, his uh, time in the limelight has long since passed. So if I can't do it, then I can't do it, you know? I mean, part of me kind of wants to throw some tickets at Ultimecia LD, just for old time's sake, but at the same time, um, there are a number of LDs I'm interested in too, like, I want a Mid-Italian, I want Bash, um, I, I even wouldn't mind Desh, like, you know, a lot of the new characters that are getting LDs are a lot more interesting to me, so I honestly might just have to pass an ulti, 
which is which is unfortunate, but at the same time, like it's not going to hurt me that much um, because as good as she is, um, there are there are still better characters by that point. Although I think she does actually become ridiculous with that amount of overflow that she gets. So she's you know she's strong for a hot minute. Um, that's the, you know that's about all you get, which is which is you know it's a shame, but. Ultimecia is the main villain of FF8, right? So she will be getting a burst at some point as well. Like, I would laugh if they give her a rework too. I mean, it is Lufenia now in JP, so... Honestly, she might get a rework, but I think her base kit is still one of the most disgusting that we've ever seen in this game, given that she can still be used in current content and is still extremely strong and probably better than most dedicated damage deals released in the last two months, which is bonkers. Yeah, she needs some support because her potencies are not the best alone, but if you give her like Ramza and Rosa for example, um, so she she has a very strong attack buff and she has Int Brave Regen and she has additional overflow, you know, like Ramza and Rosa together with ulti is like the dream team, unless you need to sub, sub in Wall for whatever reason, because Wall and Rosa, I'm just putting it out there, but it still works. You still take no brave damage from almost anything. Ah. Oh yeah, King's on the ban. <laughs> of course, King's on the ban. We wouldn't have got the, the we wouldn't have got the 35s otherwise. I'm like, why am I getting cooked by all these King 15s? So we're like over 180 tickets in, and we haven't seen sign of any EXs yet, which is worrying me to be honest. We got shit ton of golds, but no EXs. Like. See, look at, all, look at all these goals, it's crazy, but there's no... I'm, I'm not even impressed at this point, I just want the, I want an EX, I want to stop fully. I want Freya's EX, give me Partisan, damn it. I don't want to have to run through my entire ticket stash. That would be awful, and it would also mean that this video is probably not going to get uploaded, unless it does. I mean, like... Do you really want to see this? <laughs> Me going through all of my tickets like this? Ah, God damn it! Don't do this to me. Please have mercy. You know what, we get down to 350 with no sign of it and then they'll start getting a bit concerned. The average, like, well, I mean, 300 tickets for any X isn't average, right? That's like, that's above the average. But that's what I used to budget myself back when EX is first released. I said 300 for one EX is about what I expect. Anything below that is fantastic. Anything above that is like, just bad luck. Even though statistically speaking, I think it's like around a 150 mark for like a, a coin flip chance. Oh boy. Okay, so we've got this far. I mean, unless something extremely interesting happens in the next few minutes, which it normally does whenever I say something like this, but I'm thinking that I'm just going to skip ahead and uh, we'll get to the point when I've actually drawn the EX. I think we've, we've had enough of other golds to last us a, a lifetime, haven't we? So I think I'm going to do that. Let's let's see how deep this rabbit hole goes. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, that literally came out of nowhere, holy shit! That gave me a heart attack! Exactly on the 400 ticket mark as well, you know, I was thinking how convenient it would be if we were able to stop there. It's done! It is over! We are finished! And I did get this EX instead of Prontos. So, okay, it took, it took me until 400, so that's like, call it 
260-odd tickets. So not not quite 300, but it was pretty much bang on the uh, the estimate. Okay, so I mean, yeah, that, I was just spam clicking. It was a blue orb. There was nothing out of the ordinary until suddenly there's an EX. So shit, I'll take it. All right, well, that's going to be my pulls for this banner. Over and done with. Now to get Freya nicely cleaned up, which thankfully is not going to take very long. I have perfect artifacts. I've got her armor purpled. I've got her all maxed out. She was just waiting for the final piece to complete the set, and now it is finally here. So if anyone out there has pulled on this banner, I hope you've had some fantastic luck. I hope you've even done better than me. Um, if you haven't, if you've decided to skip it, if you're not pulling, I honestly don't blame you because there is, you know, this is only the beginning. There's going to be so many good banners coming out. So um, yeah, let's get Frey cleaned up and uh, I guess my next video will be the, uh, the Chaos event. So thanks everyone for watching and until the next time, take care and goodbye.